Are you an artist that wants to break into the music industry, but you can't play a formal instrument? Do the talented people around you have you feeling a little inadequate, like you'll never be good enough? Or maybe you're a new artist who wants to start making songs, but you can't play the guitar or piano, and so you don't know where to start. If that sounds like you, then keep watching. Cause today I'm sharing some tips from my experiences to show you how you can create a song without playing an instrument. Let's blast off and get started. JM in your universe. Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. If not, listen up. I have made a very mediocre career off of not being able to play an instrument. And that could be you too, so you gotta hit the sub button. Think about that. Okay, so in case no one has done so yet, I would just like to say, Welcome to the 21st century. You don't need to be able to play a formal instrument in order to make music in the modern age. Is it gonna be a little harder for you sometimes? Yeah. Impossible? No. I've been making music for the last 15 years and I do not play the guitar or the piano or any sort of cool formal instrument. Although props to all of you that can though. The most formal music training I have is two and a half years of high school choir that I kind of sucked at, and one semester of piano in college that I barely understood but somehow managed to get an A in. You want to talk to me about minor thirds, pentatonic scales, sight reading? You can, but I'm gonna let you dominate that conversation and just nod politely. So for all intents and purposes, I'm completely self-taught. Which if that's the case, how do I make music? Well, that's why you and I are talking today. Think about your favorite type of music and think about the type of music that you would ideally like to make. They're probably pretty similar, right? Chances are your brain is already pretty familiar with the basic structure of a song in your favorite genre or how a song might naturally flow even if you don't know all the technical names for it. For me, that was pop music, especially if it was dancey or upbeat. So the first step in writing a song without playing an instrument is by learning about what's called verse chorus form. You don't need to worry about melodies. We're only talking lyrics here. I've already done an entire video about common song structures in pop music, which you can check out with the link in the description below if you'd like some further information on that. But I'll very briefly cover verse chorus form now. If you're not already familiar, understanding this basic song format and practicing it section by section is a form of elementary songwriting. So verse chorus form includes the various sections of a song that typically follows this basic pattern. Verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus, bridge, chorus again. Verse one is the opening of your song. It's an introduction to your song's story. The chorus is the main hooky part of your song. That's usually where your title is found. Verse two progresses the story of the song and then the bridge kind of acts as the song's resolve. So practice writing each of those sections individually to get a feel of how to tell a story through song. Your next step is to just keep writing lyrics and combine all of them. This is how I got started. Make up melodies that go with the words that you're writing. Put those sections of verses and choruses and bridges that you've been writing all together to tell a very basic story. It doesn't have to be the most advanced thing, you just need lyrics and a melody in your head. I did this for three years and 18 full spiral notebooks later before I ever put music to lyric and brought them to life. The more songs you write like this, the more you'll become familiar with how a song naturally flows. And chances are those basic songs that you're writing will start to sound a lot like your influences as well and the music that you listen to. Step three is to get a DAW of some sort. DAW or D-A-W stands for Digital Audio Workstation. And some people even just start here. These are computer programs for music creation and there are plenty to choose from. I went from an American Idol program called Jam Tracks and then moved on to Acid Music Studio from Sony. Then I moved to GarageBand and then finally Logic. But like I said, there are tons out there, Ableton, Fruity Loops, they're all good. It just depends on what you want. In these music programs, you can use cool things like virtual instruments, loops, beats, and other really cool things to create music. You can record vocals, harmonies, and bring those melodies and lyrics to life. 
the possibilities are limitless. I'd recommend that you start with what are called loops. These are pieces of already created music that you can literally just loop and create full length songs with. You're just experimenting and having fun. Try putting different sounds together and see what vibes with you. Put a synthesizer over a beat and see how that feels. It's all for fun, so just mess around. When you're ready, start elongating those musical sections and transform them into full length songs, just like you did with writing lyrics. See if you can come up with a cool melody over the music piece you just created. See if any of those old lyrics work with a new song. Music creation is all about what feels right. So let the music guide you into that verse chorus form that you're already so familiar with. Now your final step in creating a song without playing an instrument is to literally just practice and watch a bunch of tutorials to learn about your program. Just practice and write your butt off. Experiment with your song format. Learn about other song structures and try making a song in one of those. Make an empty piano loop of your own and literally just draw in the notes. That's what I do. Create your own chords and note combinations and see what sounds good. I know Dead Mouse does this, I know Timbaland does this, and I sure as heck know I do it. As you grow and get more used to creating songs, your skill level and knowledge is going to grow and you won't be relying on those loops anymore because you'll actually be creating your own sound. You'll start adding outros, transitions, little things that give your song such life and make it shine. Soon enough, you'll have carved out your own original sound out of nothing. Then, those once simple lyrics and melodies could be up on Spotify, waiting to greet the ears of your first few fans. So those are some tips on how to create a song when you can't play an instrument. Question of the video, if you could play an instrument, which one would you like to play and why? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out some of my music for examples, I've left some links in the description below so you can do so. And if you like me and you like what I do, consider joining me on Patreon like Maddie here and all these wonderful people for all sorts of fun rewards, including access to my YouTube calendar to see what's coming to the channel. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. See you later. I am a machine, I got a robot